In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a screw modifier to create this mesh. Two modifiers were used, and I would recommend everyone always put the subsurf modifier at the top. This is the shape I have used, and it was originated from a mesh circle. The origin is not located at the 3D cursor, because the screw starts from where the 3D cursor is located. That means by moving the 3D cursor away from the world center, we can create an interesting screw shape. The mesh is placed right at the world center, but if the mesh's origin is located elsewhere, then we get an interesting result. The best way to move the origin is to create an empty object, move it, and use Shift-S, shortcut to move the 3D cursor there. After that, we can move the origin to the 3D cursor. If you don't see a mesh circle in the menu, Please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. What I did was keeping only one quarter side of the vertices by deleting the rest like this. Then I manually moved the vertices and mirrored them. I'll show you another method that we can use to create an interesting looking screw mesh. That is to intersect four mesh circles, join and connect all the vertices, and remove the hidden vertices in the middle. I'll show you what I mean. Control J to join, go to edit mode, and use tiny CAD to join all vertices. If we don't join the intersecting vertices, even though the meshes are joined, the vertices are going to remain separated. Also, we must remove the hidden vertices in the middle to reduce the overall polygon count.
This is how we create a rope like mesh. We can certainly modify the vertices like this. This is how we create an advanced screw mesh. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.